Hi, this is Jason. This is just going to be a quick video uh, about what to do when you have a shapefile that won't load in iTree Canopy. So uh, this is the type of situation we're talking about here. I'm going to hit load shapefile. And we try to open that shapefile. And we get this invalid projection format. So most of the time what this means is, is that we just have to change the projection of that file uh, to a geographic coordinate system, which is what iTree Canopy is expecting. So uh, the way I normally do this is I use uh, QGIS, which is a free GIS program. Um, and I use some boundaries that I already know are correct. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need a boundary file that you know is correct. I like to use this one from the census and I use this low resolution one here. So if you just grab that file and download it to uh, your computer and unzip it there. Um, and then the GIS software I use is QGIS and you can get this at their website which is just QGIS.org. So once you have those two things you can go ahead and follow along with me here. So I have QGIS open and I'm just going to add that boundary layer file uh, to the program. So you can either use this add vector button or go up to the vector menu up there. And I'm just going to browse to where I have that boundary file from the census. And I like to use this file because I, I know it's got a correct projection and uh, since it has every county in the U.S., it's normally easy to match it up with the data uh, that we're going to add. So now I'm going to add in that shape file that I just tried to load in iTree Canopy that uh, I wasn't able to load. So we can go ahead and add that file and now I'm just going to right click on it and do zoom to layer. and. So this zooms us into our county file, and you can see we're actually outside the boundary of our U.S. county data there. So this must have a, an incorrect coordinate system, otherwise these two data sets would line up. Um, and one thing you can check just to verify that they'll do that, if you go to Project Properties here, and you just make sure this Enable on the Fly, this CRS is coordinate reference system transformation. So that would just line those up if they had the correct data. So it looks like this 12, 21, 2013 file doesn't have the correct projection. So all we need to do is figure out what it's at now and change it back to the correct one. Let's go ahead and look at the properties for this file and see what the coordinate system currently is. So we can right click on the name up there, pick properties. And under the general tab there, we can see that it's currently set so the coordinate reference system is WGS84, but that can't be right, otherwise it would line up with our correctly with our boundary layer uh, of all the counties in the U.S. So if we want to look down here, we can see the coordinates uh, of the data here. So if I move my mouse over here, we can see those change. If this was in uh, WGS84, that would be latitude and longitude for the U.S. Looking at latitudes from the 20s to the 40s and longitudes from the 60s to the 120s, or negative 60s to negative 120s, and we're definitely nowhere near that range, so there must be something wrong there. Uh, in the U.S., you probably have a couple choices. We can be in those geographic coordinate system, which would be latitude and longitude, or we can be in state plane, uh, and those are typically specific to each state and would be in feet um, or hundreds of thousands of feet and, or we can be in UTM which would be in meters um, and specific to a UTM zone which uh, change east to west across the US. So we have a couple different choices we can try to correct this. So the first thing I would do is go ahead and uh, right click up here and select properties again and then we're going to go ahead and change this. Let's try that state plane north coordinate system for Iowa first. So to get to uh, Iowa, and I know these are from Iowa because uh, somebody from Iowa sent me this file. So I'll just type in Iowa in the filter and go ahead down here. And you can select uh, one of these ones in feet. The other ones are going to be in meters. Um, so sometimes those units can be an issue. We'll go ahead and select 
uh, Iowa North feet and hit OK and apply and we can see we've disappeared from here so we can go ahead and zoom to our layer see where it moved to so it's now since we have that purple background it's within our boundary and we can see it's not quite in Iowa here so let's go ahead and give this another try and we'll, we'll try uh, the state plane north coordinate system for Iowa so I uh, right click on our file over there select properties again and specify and it looks like we were we picked the state plane north the first time so let's go ahead and pick south so we can go ahead and filter this again by Iowa and you'll see some of these lists are in feet uh, the other ones are going to be in meters so sometimes those units can be the issue too but let's just go ahead and try that uh, Iowa state plane south in feet for now and we'll hit OK and we hit apply and okay here and if we go ahead and pick zoom to layer over here again and we'll zoom out a little bit and it seems like now we have shifted our data and looks like we are actually in Iowa so uh, it looks like we've corrected that coordinate system um, so now that it's correct we need to go ahead and save it in WGS 84 from here uh, so the easiest way to do that in QGIS and this is a nice thing about QGIS we can just right click on it over here and pick save as and during the saving process we can change the coordinate system save it as a new file here so we'll browse and we'll just add on to our old file name that this is going to be WGS 84 and we'll hit save uh, and here's where we need to change that coordinate system. If I just hit OK down here now, it's just going to save the same file again. So let's go ahead and hit Browse. And we'll go ahead. And now we want to save this. We have it correctly as state plane. And during the saving process, we want to convert it to WGS84. And you can go ahead and filter by that. I already have it in my recently used list. Um, but if we filter and scroll up you'll see it's one of these geographic coordinate systems near the top there so we'll go ahead and hit OK it should be listed there we could add it back into our map here but it's just going to overlay directly over top of our other maps so that's not going to show us a whole lot so we hit OK and we'll get a message here that the file has been saved so let's jump back over to iTree Canopy and see if we can open that file we just created so we'll go ahead and hit load shape file we'll browse to our new file with that WGS 84 in the title and we hit OK and there it looks like our file loaded correctly the boundaries look you know they line up with this river so this data now looks like it's in the correct place and we can go ahead and proceed with our iTree Canopy project so there's a little bit of trial and error there figuring out how to take your uh, shape file and get it back to the correct coordinate system um, and in the US you know you're gonna have some choices between different state plane systems for each state uh, UTM zones you might want to use uh, Google Earth or something like that to figure out what UTM zones are in your state um, and then you may have that issue with whether your data is in feet or meters um, but for the most time just kind of a little trial and error will get you to the correct projection once you have it correct, you just do that save as and make sure you save it as that WGS84 uh, in that geographic coordinate system. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at itreetools.org.